What did the weird kid do in your school that you'll never forget? We were sat in English class, and some kid answered a question, so we all turned to look at him as he answered. Pretty normal. Kid was rather quickly upstaged by the weird kid next to him pulling a full cooked chicken leg out of his jacket pocket, no wrapping or packaging, and just started eating it. If the kid's name was Donny I was in your class, if not the same exact thing happened in my high school. He didn't wear shoes. College in upstate New York with mounds of snow during the winter. He still didn't wear shoes. Girl was wearing a thong in freshman year. Weird kid behind her got really frisky and started jacking it. He would also get upset if someone else fed the class fish. Willie wasn't weird, but being a 4th grader and bringing an entire gallon of Arizona tea every day for lunch was interesting to say the least. He sat at one end of the yard and tied his shoelaces together. He then proceeded to stand, walk and fall all the way to the other side. He was falling on purpose too and he didn't say a word to anybody. At the end, he untied his shoes and continued to do whatever. This girl Maggie would find someone new to latch onto every month or so. When she found someone she wanted to befriend, she would do crazy, over the top crap in an attempt to impress them. At one point, she was obsessed with a girl we'll call Cat. One day, Cat brought in a baggie of celery and was dipping it in a sauce cup of peanut butter. Maggie wouldn't stop staring and basically watched Cat consume every last piece of celery. Sure enough, the very next day, Maggie comes into class with, I kid you not, like six bunches of celery stalks and a family sized tub of peanut butter. She just eats it all day, with the biggest smile on her face, all while staring at Cat from across the room. This is a lighter example of the many off the wall things Maggie has done for her transient idol of the month, but the endless bushels of celery is just something I'll never forget. He would walk around on his tiptoes like a T-Rex and then make dinosaur noises and hiss at people. Similarly, a girl at my college walked around with cat ears, would and purr and hiss at people. I overheard someone walk by her and wave and say hi once, and she meowed as a reply. This was a tech school though, so I'm not even sure I'd rank her as the weirdest person there. Walked around the halls saying peen 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 or alternatively something that rhymed with that such a smoke marijuanas. Smoke marijuanas ate chewed gum off the floor, called everyone he didn't like a squid. He never got picked on because if anybody pushed him or anything like that, he would scream at the top of his lungs. I knew this kid who smelled terrible. He'd walk in a room and this disgusting stench would follow him, like some sort of cloud of garbage scented air. If you were in class with him it would permeate the entire room. Anyway, one time one of the teachers found a toenail in his locker. He had some sort of fungal infection on his feet and one of his nails fell off, which he then proceeded to take and save so he could send it to a family member. Quite possibly the most disgusting and weird event I've ever witnessed. As a kid, those weird kids that smelled terrible were always gross. As an adult, instead I usually wonder if they are neglected or abused. Wanted to freak out the substitute teacher so in the middle of class, he began screaming while attempting to staple his hand to the desk. After a bit of blood and a whole lot of screams, I'd say he succeeded in his mission. Yeah, frick you, substitute haha, normal kids give you a fake name, hahaha <laughs> but not me, no no, not me, staple staple staple. We had a kid who jerked off in class multiple times in middle school and the school decided to ban all girls from wearing mini skirts because of it. The letter my parents got in the mail about it was freaking hilarious. Also, it didn't help. And he eventually was suspended for 10 days. No one really knows what happened to him. He pulled his pants all the way down to go to the toilet. Also, one day his underwear were in the playground somehow. We had an assignment one time to create a presentation about what we wanted to do when we graduated high school. This kid in my class did an entire presentation on how his aspirations were to work at McDonald's whilst living in the Sumter eating the thrown out happy meals. It was really well put together. The kid was really smart. Just also really freaking weird too. So this kid basically wanted to grow up and become a seagull. Ran around the halls like Naruto and crap but weighed over 250 pounds so he was a freight train if you got in the way. I wasn't there when it happened, I had changed schools, but I keep in touch with my old friends, the weird kid, also a friend of mine, 
had gone up to the popular kids table and told them he had a surprise for them tomorrow. So of course they think he's going to shoot up the school. They have a lockdown, evacuate his class and an officer goes in to talk to him. Turns out he bought some donuts for the popular kids to try and make friends with them. AWW, I feel really bad for him. Bit fricked up that everybody's first thought is that he's going to go ape crap and shoot up the school. One kid in the third grade brought a tiny saw from home and slowly carved through the plastic shelf part of his desk. No one noticed until he sawed through almost half of his desk. He also had shotgun shells and rotten food in his desk too. Instead of walking, the weird kid in my school chose to army crawl from class to class for all of high school. Apparently he thought he was the main character from Metal Gear Solid. He must have a godly core and back muscles. We had called him the haha -ha man. I can't even remember his real name anymore but he used to follow my friends and I around the playground. And he was a year or two younger than I was. Once he started to creep us out and we tried to ignore him. He started yelling if you don't get back here I am going to grab your H.A.R. I'll never forget how he would say it. And this went on for over a year. Regularly put a lighter to his hair in the computer labs to make the teachers think a computer was on fire. I suspect they knew what was happening but had to take the necessary precautions like call the fire brigade. When the same kid was about 13-14, he was bullying some girl. The girl's older brother, about 18, confronted him about it. The bully put the guy in hospital. He topped all of that by killing a suspected pedo with a paving slab though. Weird indeed. Kid I went to school with was a nice kid, but weird. Definitely had some form of special needs. But I never knew what exactly. I'll never forget the day I watched him walking down the hall with a Twix wrapper across his eyes. Like he was wearing a Cyclops, X-Men, visor. I asked him why he would do that. His response was well I can see through it, so I wanted to see through it. Yes, it was translucent enough to see through. I felt so bad for this kid. He was bullied badly. The kids at school were awful to him. One day at lunch, I watched a giant a shat walk up to him after just sitting down with his lunch. Grab the kid's backpack and also his Game Boy from the table, which was like the only nice thing the kid owned. Threw it straight in the trash, and then dumped the freshly bought lunch right on top of it. God, that makes me mad just now thinking back on it. On top of the constant bullying he received from the kids, the teachers had a hard time dealing with him. They did try, but it was tough when the kid comes out of left field with things and had zero home support. And everyone knew his mom didn't give a crap about him. Wouldn't take him to doctor's appointments. Wouldn't get him his meds. Wouldn't do laundry for him or help him with basic hygiene. She ran a salon and told him to sit in the corner and not bother her. He would ask for things like water or a snack. And she would just yell at him, in front of clients. Which is why everyone knew all this, to be honest. I was seriously afraid of him getting a gun and shooting up the school. My city was a hair's width away from being in the woods. Lots of camo and country music. So it would have been not too hard for him to get a gun somehow. I was actually planning. Based on his schedule escape plans. And what I would say if I encountered him on a rampage. One day he knocks on my door. Tells me he's moving down south to live with his dad. And he seems really excited. Thanks me for being his friend. And wished me well. Then, a couple years later, he was visiting the area again, knocks on my door, and says hi, asks how I'm doing, tells me he was thinking about me, he tells me things were much better, that he was happy living with his dad, and things were better. If I were a betting man, I'd bet that his dad actually got him proper meds, and acted like a half decent parent to the kid. I hope things are going well for you, Josh, I hope that you got it together. Because you always deserved better than pretty much everyone in town gave you. I'm really glad he got to live with someone who cared for him better. Sweet of him to thank you and check up on you. Your friendship must have meant a lot to him. Got up in the middle of math class. With no prompting. Filled his hands with sanitizer. And clapped them. Spraying it everywhere and screaming there's CM everywhere. Nobody was even talking. He just thought it would be cool. We had a kid in 6th grade, let's call him Tim. Tim was constantly getting in trouble for not listening to the teacher. One day Tim and the teacher got into an argument. The teacher told Tim to step out of the classroom and wait in the hall so they could talk. On his way out, 
Tim slammed the door extremely hard, with the echo bellowing throughout the entire school. The teacher then told Tim to go to the office, and he closed the door, only for Tim to start running and kicking the door over and over again. The teacher walked up to the door and locked it for our safety, then grabbed his phone to call the office. We couldn't see anything Tim was doing in the hall because the door was one of those ones with only a tiny window to see through. So what the teacher said on the phone caught us all off guard. Hello. Yeah, one of my students was misbehaving so I sent him to the office and he began kicking door. Now he is currently pacing around in circles outside the door with his belt in one hand and a boomerang in the other. There was this guy everyone called Big Andy. He was kind of nuts. I mean like, the most caustic neckbody guy you've ever met in your life. I was kind of one of a few people that figured he was mostly harmless, but dude was that militant nerd variety that made it kind of hard to defend him. Threatened to bash people's faces in, blow stuff up. I mean he had some serious issues. Reason people picked on him, was that he was about 300 plus LBS, in high school. Constantly wore anime t-shirts that were about two sizes too small, Jean shorts, and carried a box of donuts around. No seriously, a box. He also had a really high pitched squeaky voice, I mean, all of that, and people are buttholes. He had it in his head he'd go become a computer programmer, start a video game company, and land a helicopter on the roof of the school during our reunion. His words, I always wondered what happened to him. I don't know of him ever having any friends, and he dropped off the face of the planet after we graduated. Looked him up a few months ago on Facebook, and just couldn't find him, so no clue whatever happened to the guy. One kid in my freshman speech class was extremely socially awkward so this was already just a perfect setting for disaster. We had to give a one minute speech the second day of class off the top of our head about some of the things we like and present an item or two that symbolizes your passions and interests. He goes up there, pulls out a pack of juicy fruit and just holds it up, pauses for a second, then said this is juicy fruit, my favorite gum. If you don't like juicy fruit then you can screw off, then went back and sat down. Everyone paused for a sec, looked around and just bust out laughing. It wasn't for a grade or anything so I'm pretty sure the teacher just didn't care cause it was so funny. Probably didn't have anything prepared so he just had libbed the line from Talladega Nights. Wouldn't stop asking us to join his investment club or become a writer for his investment website. Well 4 years later that website got bought out for 2M. Fast forward to today, he's got his own firm and parties with like models every weekend. Haha, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Man had a plan. We had this one kid who was a bit of an oddball, always said the most obscure things in the middle of class, and overall kinda reminded me of Dwight from the office. Anyways, we were in gym class playing kickball indoors cause it was raining and he was on me and my friends team. His turn came up bases loaded with a pretty close game and class was about to end. We were all just watching in anticipation as the pitch came. Mid roll he turns around and looks directly at us and gives the most confident butt smirk I've ever seen. Turns back around runs up and kicks the ball. Now, we had a pretty decent sized gym area and at the top were all these metal beams for support. A couple of them were giant eye beam type things. So anyways. He kicks the ball and it goes flying up 40 feet and hits all these beams and somehow lands perfectly on the edge of one of the eye beams that could only have been the length of the ball itself. The guy ran the bases like it was business as usual and me and my friends died laughing convinced that he frickin knew that he would do that. The ball stayed up there the rest of the school year. There was this weird kid named Gavin who sat in the front row of my nutrition class. One day, he was not in class, he never missed class. So as the teacher is doing attendance she asks where's Gavin. Just as she says this, everyone looks outside to see Gavin throw his backpack down a couple flights of stairs, jump down the stairs, and begin beating his backpack with a baseball bat. The teacher silently walked over and closed the blinds as the entire class burst out in laughter. Had to be one of the most hilarious moments in my high school experience. I knew a Gavin when I was 5. He was like 2 years older than me and was my neighbor. He always got naked outside. I should also mention we had neighboring apartments so we had a shared yard. This kid was only around in 3rd grade, but I'll never forget him eating paper. He ate so much paper. He'd tear a page from a notepad, rip off corners in textbooks, 
etc. And he offered it to kids sitting near him like it was a snack. What a weird kid. Oh. God I had that phase. I was in the same school system for 2nd through 6th grade. So you're weirdo ain't me. But yeah. I had a phase somewhere about that age of eating paper. He was a wizard. One day after watching him for weeks couple of us just had to talk to him about it. So we approached him and another young man who had what looked like a girlfriend there and started with so um. Heard that you were a wizard he nodded his head with a serious face. Of course we asked how this happened. And he informed us that he was just born that way. So we asked if he could show us something and he told us we weren't ready. One of us, being the anarchy loving individual he was. Told him that his friend standing over by the wall was talking crap about him, said his staff was better than his. He chuckled and said he didn't even have a staff. My friend followed with a well he said you were a P. At that time he looked over his shoulder, looked back at us, then walked over to the dude. Put out his hands and looked like he was straining and started yelling. The dude standing at the wall collapsed and we all kinda lost it. He came back over to us and smirked. This guy laid there for a good half hour or so until the girl convinced him to resurrect her boyfriend. He went over to the dude laying in the grass and stood over him with his hands out and the dude got back up. After that one of our goofy friends begged him to teach him the ways and make him a wizard. Followed him around for a good 3-4 weeks as his apprentice I'm guessing lol. He got called on to answer a question and then he stood on his desk and pointed at everyone and said he was gonna snipe us all and our W teacher who was in her 50s and like a sweet grandma, and flipped his desk and left. Teacher wouldn't let her use the bathroom during a test so she peed her pants in protest. During a field trip to a zoo, he airooned a peacock, baited in his hand and went and shook hands with this athletic girl he liked. I've got a couple of these. One kid was rumored to have been caught in his backyard by his older brother boffing with a watermelon. Someone had the gall to actually ask him if he did it, and he said yay. So, I did it and my brother is telling everyone. So what? He earned the nickname Seeds after that. It really didn't seem to bother him. One kid just wasn't all there. He was super nice and would give anyone the shirt off his back if asked, but was a couple fries short of a happy meal. In high school gym class, I believe this was 11th or 12th grade, as the class was running laps around the gym to warm up, there were little brown pellets appearing on the floor. Someone made the connection and we look over and as this kid is running, poopies are dropping from his shorts. He's just running and dumping at the same time. It immediately became pandemonium in class as the coaches stopped class and tried to settle people down and sent him to the nurse's office. Turns out he really had to use a bathroom and didn't bother to ask. Just decided to take a massive deuce in while running laps in the gym. One girl would only talk and respond to people in meows and hisses. She's now a teacher. She was incredibly intelligent and got really high marks in her classes, etc. She was also very antisocial and struggled with any form of relationships. This one isn't so much weird as ridiculous. Right when Jay-Z was about to release the Black Album, a bunch of kids were super excited about it. This one kid in particular just couldn't contain himself. For about a month, every time a teacher called on him to answer a question he would say I don't know, but Jay-Z album drop insert date here. He would raise his hand in the middle of class as well, to seemingly ask a question. Once called on, would go on a tirade about Jay-Z's Black Album and how he is the greatest. It just didn't stop for weeks. Guy who claimed to be a genius in math and science said he would one day rule on a floating continent. He had pages worth of random equations and formulas that somehow gave him the answer to creating a floating continent. He would walk around school with a clipboard asking people if they wanted to participate in the gladiator tournament he would hold once he had his floating continent. I signed up for this gladiator tournament. I'm still waiting for the phone call. During PE, he would go around trying to capture bugs, then go to a corner of the gym and try to eat them. Really bizarre dude from 4th grade, milky white complexion with red hair, always reminded people he was from the Azores, and his claim to fame was that out of nowhere he'd break out with his Michael Jackson thriller routine. Dude had a wank in the library and ruined our district's only copy of 1984. Guess he got off on the idea of a surveillance state. I'm not British BTW, just like the word wank. Jared Leto's Joker, Origins. You have been visited by the romantic doggo. 
comment love is magic so you never fall in the friend zone. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.